Welcome to Mellow's Minute. We have heard about living a trust and some of the functions people do within those trusts, but wanted to get a specific understanding of some of those roles from estate planning attorney, Rob Miles. So for example, you have a living trust. You really have to have three roles or hats to wear. You have to have a trustor, sometimes referred to as a settlor. That means whose trust is this? Whose stuff are we going to put into this trust? Whose assets and so forth? Then you have to have a trustee who is the person in charge of all those things. And then you need to have a beneficiary who is going to receive or benefit from this estate. Now typically when we're doing a revocable living trust, the client, the trustor, is also the trustee and is also the beneficiary. Everything is about them, for them, while they're alive. But the trust will then go on to name those successor roles. Who is going to be someone that can step in and be in charge of, of all of this stuff and the administration of my estate when I'm gone? Which basically means, who is my successor trustee that will step in when I'm gone and administer the, the trust the way that I've laid it out? carry out the wishes that I've said I, w I want to make sure have, have, have happen. That person, that's, that trustee, is a fiduciary. They have the highest duty that the law imposes on anyone to carry out my wishes the way I've set it out in my trust. <laughs>